Hello everybody, Mobius1 here, bringing you the next episode of Star Wars Squadrons. We've only got three episodes left in the campaign, I believe. We're pretty much burning our way through. Haven't been doing that great, to be honest. <laughs> We've only made it through one mission so far without dying. Um, but we are playing on veteran difficulty. It's not the hardest, but it's still pretty tough. Um, looks like we're on mission eight now, Fractured Alliance, and it's gonna be an Empire mission. I see an Interceptor. I don't think we've flown an interceptor yet. I see Y wings, and it looks like a shipyard. Are we gonna be defending a shipyard from Y wing bombers? Sounds like. Oh yeah, that's right. They got screwed up. Alpha Rem, Remetic system, grid L four two. Scramble fire crews. Get a distress call to the nearest Imperial station. Aha! If there's an old munitions depot in this system, Captain, run by a Colonel Grom, must be our lucky day. Make the call. Yeah, I don't think she wanted to hear that. She just had to retreat. Not necessarily a lucky day. This isn't over, thank God. So, you jump to my territory, uninvited, then demand my supplies? Colonel Grom. The Starhawk project is within our grasp. All I need is repairs and proper munitions. No. The Emperor assigned me to this depot. <laughs> what? I decide how its resources are used. As of this moment, that includes your Star Destroyer. Consider yourself reassigned. The Overseer was sent on this mission by Admiral Sloan herself. Admiral Sloan isn't here, Captain. I have rebel guerrillas to deal with. And now, so do you. Out. Side quest. He wants us to fight rebels. All right. We'll protect his depot. And if his munitions get lost in the crossfire, well, lucky for us. Ma'am, regulations specifically forbid this. I will not be beaten by vanguard, grandstanding imbeciles, or anyone else. Please, no judgment. It's just fine. Call in Titan Squadron. Now. Oh shucks. Yo, he gonna report her? I'm curious how this is gonna wrap up in three missions. Oh man, look the hangar is all jacked up. That's pretty cool. Things all damaged. Getting repaired. That's pretty neat. All right. What do you want to say, faceless chick? Well, that could have gone better. I never expected that cobbled together battleship to be more dangerous than the Xavian Abyss. Those dockyard coordinates almost cost us the Overseer. Look at this place. The deck below is even worse. And did you hear? We're not being given the munitions we need to strike back. No wonder Captain Carroll's furious. We'll get through this. Think of Battle Group Echelon after the skirmish at Marisi. Supply lines cut, their Admiral's flagship captured. But they rallied. They fended off the enemy, made repairs in hostile territory, and launched a daring rescue. I have no idea what you're talking about. They were ready, they returned to crush the rebels under heel. There's always a way to win. The captain summoned us. Let's not test her patience. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Um, yeah, by the way, I see an interceptor. I'm ready. Local rebel forces are preparing to attack Colonel Ground's munitions depot. You'll patrol the area in preparation for the attack and keep the depot safe. Ground is a fool, but his assets belong to the Empire. Therefore, they belong to us. During your patrol, Titan Three will secretly search the station, its freighters, and cargo shuttles for beradium. This explosive material will be a valuable tool against the Starhawk. Tag the beradium, and LT514 will retrieve it remotely. Oof. While okay. While Realm is kept busy by the rebel attack, escort the beradium to the Overseer for safekeeping. Mm. According to the Colonel, these three towers hold large munition stockpiles and will be the rebels' priority targets. 
It's a powder keg. If we lose the towers, we lose the depot, and the Overseer will be defenseless. Remember, as long as repairs are still underway, we can't afford to engage the Republic. Secure the Viradium, halt the Rebel Assault, and then we can leave the Remetic system. You're on your own, Titan. This is going to be tough. Let's do this right. This is going to be tough. Okay. Why is it that small-minded officers are always the quickest to flaunt what little power they have? Graum can lord over this pathetic corner of the galaxy all he likes. But I will not allow him to jeopardize our mission. This depot has everything we need to annihilate the Starhawk. Graum may be an obstacle, but he's not our enemy. We will do our duty to protect Imperial assets. I really hope this music doesn't get hit with copyright. Prepare your ship. Yeah, it's going to totally get hit with copyright. I'm going to have to turn that down, turn that down. Talking over the Imperial music. Sorry, everybody. I owe you and the rest of Titan Squadron an apology. When the Overseer was attacked, I realized that everything I know about war is what I've read. I'm beginning to understand how it must feel in that cockpit under fire. Terrifying. Yet you and the others risk it every day. I took this assignment to learn. Clearly, I still have a long way to go. I know Colonel Graum is in the wrong, and yet seizing his munitions feels drastic. But Captain Carroll is entirely correct that Admiral Sloan's orders supersede Graum's, and we are committed. To work. There's much to do. Okay. He stepped out. We step out. Probably gonna have to talk to somebody here. Yeah, Shen. This routine is familiar. We've suffered. We're damaged. Broken, even. But it's not the end. Never is. Next steps are simple. We heal up, find Vanguard, then take revenge. The first crash was hardest. Had to relearn breathing, walking. Saw my cockpit in nightmares. Wasn't personal. The rebels shot me down. My wingmate returned fire. But pain is personal. My team deserved my best. The Empire demanded it. So step by step, I conquered pain. I rose, I flew, Nadiri's ahead, until, and, and, <coughs> yeah, until then, surviving is revenge. I'm not sure how you pass your medical kid, dude, whatever you are. I'm pretty sure he'd have been medically discharged. <laughs> Who's over here? It never fails. Bureaucratic bastards like Colonel Graham are always in the way. My brothers died on a rebel raid with the 181st that never should have happened. I blame the Imperial Senator, who pushed for that doomed mission just as much as I blame the rebels who fired the torpedoes. Pick any military disaster and you'll always find some bantha-brained bureaucrat was behind it. Captain Carroll is making the right call with this mission. Let's go. Damn. All right, tell me how you really feel. Well, that's it. Prepare for launch. Captain Carroll has assigned you a TIE Interceptor. This machine is built to cut down enemy fighters. And that's what you do best. All right, we can edit our loadout. So here we go. We have the rapid fire cannon, just like with the A wing, extreme, uh, extremely quickly, but with a short clip and short range. So standard and ooh ion cannon. Ooh, ooh, what do we want? Ooh. Wait a minute. Why is the rapid fire have lower DPS than the regular cannon? 
Max DPS 681, max DPS 666. Uh, uh, I don't know if I like that. We'll try it. But the range, too. It's only 60% range. Hmm. That's tough. Uh, let's go with the standard laser. Alright, left auxiliary seeker mine. Uh, no. We gotta go with the repair system. Right auxiliary anti starfighter missile on slot rockets. We'll go with the anti starfighter missile. Countermeasures. Yeah, I like the sensor jammer. We used that a couple times in the last mission. For hull. Prevents enemies from targeting you. Take much less damage from auxiliary components, but more damage from lasers. Long a time locking on to you. Max health is down 10%. With the countermeasures, I don't know if we need that, so we'll just go with the regular hull. With the engines. Maneuverability up, but acceleration and speed down. I wonder if we should do that. Right, because this is what we took last time. I th let's take the maneuverability engines and see how this works. 30% maneuverability sounds like a lot. Max speed, 30%. Kind of sucks. Acceleration, we probably won't notice. So, alright. Let's try that. I feel kind of bad taking the uh, standard blasters. But the, uh, the rapid fire ones just didn't they didn't seem that good. Overseer, Titan is outbound. Oh yeah, this feels nice. I've ordered Titan Squadron to patrol the area in preparation of the enemy attack. Good. My munitions depot is as valuable as it is volatile. I expect you to defend it with your lives. Titan Squadron, split up and patrol the depot. Find the Paradium before any Rebels arrive. Okay. Titan 3, follow me. I really want to know how that TIE Bomber just took off in front of me at that speed. That should not be allowed. I also like how we were told to split up and now we're being told to follow. Control towers are operational. Don't let the rebels destroy all three. Nobody survives that chain reaction. Sounds like you speak from experience, Shen. Which I know you do. I like that we can see the um the four spikes of the interceptor. Can't just scan any freighter. Any luck? That freighter doesn't have the radio, but I'm detecting concussion missiles, heavy ion cannons, and plasma bombs as well. Think of what we could have accomplished at Endor with these supplies. Come on, Titan Three. Got a plan. Incursion. Our forces used Paradium. Moved it with Zeta class cargo shuttles. If Grom has Paradium, he might be doing the same. Yeah. We used Paradium strikes to drive the rebels out of hiding a job mess. They didn't flush the rebels out. 
Ooh, don't crash. No, I was so close. That's it. The radio. I'm tracing its signature across the deep air now. Find the squadron and regroup. Forming up on your position. Do a little boost here. Excellent. We'll secure the Viridium during the enemy raid. We're ready for them. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, hello. <laughs> we have rebel forces emerging from hyperspace. All right. Oh, hello. Remember, if they destroy the towers, we lose the depot. Then the overseer will be overrun. Or worse. Enemy fighters are targeting Tower 1. Oh god, that's not what I meant to do. Crash and not dead? Wow. About to be dead. Let's go, let's go. There we go. Lucky I was here. No kidding. Fighter on my tail. We need more Y wings. Here we go. Where do you go? Where do you go? Gotta stay mo uh, mobile. Um, yeah, I don't know about that, bro. This is not going to be fun. Come on, that Corvette's right behind me. I know, but they got freaking Y wings, man. Oh crap! Stand by, reloading. Tower three has been targeted. This is not gonna work. Still bombers anywhere? Yep, right here. Take down the Corvette. Enemies are moving on Tower Three. More like that. Enemy telling me. 
Yeah. All the bombers. Now what? The Corvette. Titan three, fire on the Corvette. Rebels heading for tower two. Like, what am I supposed to do against this thing? Yeah, we need a lot of things right now. It's almost done. It's gone, baby. charge back up. We're back at full health. Objectives. We got a nav point. Okay. Kind of disappointed we lost one of the towers. Under siege from who? Wait, who's shooting? Focus on the oh crap, there's A-Wings? I will say this, interceptors shred A-wings. Is that on the other side of that dish? No. Oh, damn it. that other one oh no you don't shit hold still you little bastard I should not be going for this guy. That's how you melt an A-wing.
Come on. Done. That can't be the end. I didn't think so. Oh no. Man. Crap, can I... Flagship systems? Nope, that doesn't help. Yes, it will. see turrets on this side anymore. I'm trying, bro. Nope, I will not die this mission. Are you sure about that? No! Why did I say that? No! We were doing so well! They sent in a frigate. Destroy it immediately. Shen, take point with ion bombs. Man, I need to do this whole thing again. He was like half dead already. I mean, I can see some of the turrets. We can do this, we can do this. Oh, no, 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 no! 16%, 16%, get back on this side, get back on this side. Boost, spin, 9%. Charge them lasers up, let's go. Got it. Still X wings. Save this depot from the rebels. Mission accomplished. Both Grom's mission and ours, Captain. Oh, they left. Dock aboard the depot for immediate debriefing. Titan Squadron, return to the overseer at once. <laughs> We're leaving the Remetic system. Captain, I reassigned you. My order 
has come from above you, Colonel Grell. Rip. I have everything I came for. Are we gonna have to fight Imperials? Communications with this imbecile. We're gonna have to fight Imperials. This, Captain. I promise you that. No. Let's boost, just in case. Let's get out of here. Okay. Woo! I thought for sure we were gonna have to like f do some tie on tie action there. Man, I am so upset that we had that collision with that X-Wing. Look at that, we would have had the all three of the top medals. We were doing so good. We even beat the time limit, destroyed all of the Nebulon B frigates turrets first. Wow. That's gonna be tough, because it's hard to I don't know exactly where the turrets are, and I can't target them specifically like I could on a flagship. And all three control towers survived the attack. Yeah, we lost one, even though I felt like we were doing pretty good. Maybe see, I, I felt like we needed to focus more on the bombers than on the Corvette, but maybe that was wrong. Maybe I did need to prioritize the Corvette over the bombers. I wonder if that would have uh if that would have made a difference. Anyway, um, that was a fun mission. It was kind of short, but I, I had a feeling we were going to have that last wave at the end there. So it was more interesting than I thought it was going to be originally. I like that. Uh, all right. So that was mission eight. Yes. So we've got two missions remaining. Let's go ahead and do a quick preview on what mission nine is. Uh, story... Chaos at Mon Cala. It's another Imperial mission. I'm not reading the description. Um, yeah. Okay. Cool. Chaos at Mon Cala. I don't know. Maybe we'll see a Mon Calamari ship. I don't think so. Have we seen one in this game yet? I don't. I don't remember. I don't think we have. I don't. Uh, there might not be in this game. I don't know. Maybe just the MC. Uh, whatever the wherever the Re new Republic flagship is, it's, I don't remember what the MC number is. I could guess, but it would just insult people. Um, anyway, yeah, it's gonna be fun to uh, to play multiplayer after going through the campaign. But um, that's gonna be it for this video. As always, thank you guys for watching. Mobius one here, and I'll see you in the next one.